Hello everyone, this is Firoz Nadaf. In this video, I will discuss about what is singly reinforced beam and doubly reinforced beam. And we will also see the reason why we have to go for doubly reinforced beam. Now, let's define what is the meaning of singly reinforced beam. Singly reinforced beam is a beam wherein uh, you provide design reinforcement or you can say design steels in the tension zone only in the tension zone only now you have to understand what is the meaning of design reinforcement or design steel the design reinforcement or design steel the meaning of this is it it is based on some calculation it is based on some internal forces let's say you have a bending moment value and based on that bending moment value you have calculated the amount of steel that is to be introduced or that is to be inserted in the beam okay so that is what is the design reinforcement and tension zone you see you have two kinds of behavior of beam sagging and hogging okay so this is the sagging behavior of the beam and this is the hogging behavior of the beam okay so most likely the sagging behavior of the beam you will get in simply supported beam and the hogging behavior of the beam in case of cantilever beam okay so you see what you have to see here you have a neutral axis here and below neutral axis you have tension zone and here above neutral axis you have tension zone okay so when you draw the cross section of sagging behavior of the beam the design reinforcement shall be provided in the tension zone okay in the hugging behavior of the beam the design reinforcement is provided in the tension zone but here the tension zone is above neutral axis okay so in singly reinforced beam we provide design reinforcement in tension zone and that does not mean that we do not provide any reinforcement in the compression zone we do provide reinforcement in the compression zone even in singly reinforced beam but that is not the design reinforcement the definition is very clear the design reinforcements are provided in the tension zone only okay so here uh, in this beam the compression zone is above neutral axis and in the compression zone we do provide reinforcement that is not design reinforcement means that is not based on some calculation it is called as anchor bars anchor bars okay normally we provide uh, two bars of 12 mm diameter uh, in beam as anchor bars this anchor bars are provided to hold the stirrups it is provided for the anchorage purpose see you have stirrups in the beams uh, the stirrups are provided to take care of shear okay to hold the stirrups we provide anchor bars we provide this bars for the anchorage purpose here also in case of uh, hogging behavior the compression zone is below neutral axis and here also we will provide anchor bar this will also hold the stirrups okay now let's see the definition of doubly reinforced beam doubly reinforced beam uh, is a beam wherein you provide design reinforcement in the tension zone as well as in the compression zone so when you draw the cross section you have design reinforcement in both the zone compression zone as well as tension zone so let us assume that above neutral axis you have compression zone here the reinforcements are called as compression steel compression steel and when you deal with the design of beam you will understand the compression steel will take care of compression stresses okay so here in uh, in tension zone these are called as tension steel because it will take care of tensile stresses now we will see why we are required to go for doubly reinforced beam you see you are designing the structure for two reason safety and serviceability safety and serviceability and serviceability is out of the scope of this video safety is again it's a big topic and it requires lots of discussion but in the simplest term safety means the resistance should be greater than applied load when you talk in terms of moment mr moment of resistance should be greater than applied moment 
and when you have this condition then you can claim that the structure is safe the design is safe and when you are doing some calculation when you are doing the design if you get this condition the moment of resistance is greater than applied moment then you can go for singly reinforced beam singly reinforced beam when this condition is not satisfied when mr is less than applied moment what you have to do you have to increase the value of mr so much so that mr is greater than applied moment and then you can claim that the design is safe okay so what are the ways by which mr can be increased so as of now you see you cannot understand mr and how the mr values increased unless you deal with the design of beam okay so superficially we will see how the mr value is increased so it is increased by doing three ways okay so first is mix of the concrete or to increase the mix of the concrete mix of the concrete mix of the concrete means to increase the grade of the concrete for example up, up until this you have some grade of concrete uh, like m20 grade concrete and you can go for m30 m40 grade concrete okay uh, by by doing that you are increasing mr of the beam second is depth of the beam you can increase the depth of the beam and third is to provide compression steel compression steel okay now these are the three ways by which mr value can be increased and we are not doing all three things okay first and second we are not doing we are not going for the mix of the concrete we are not increasing the grade of the concrete because it is not economical to consider the economical aspect of the structure we are not increasing the grade of the concrete and also we are not increasing the depth of the beam you see when you increase the depth of the beam you are compromising the height of the room you see for aesthetic reason you have to maintain the height of the room okay and you see when you have a large offset of beam from the slab the room is not a favorable condition to live okay it's like you have a two partition so for aesthetic purpose for architectural purpose the depth of the beam is restricted it is not increased beyond certain point okay so that is why we are not increasing the depth of the beam and third we are doing this we are providing compression steel and when you provide the design compression steel you are increasing the moment of resistance and by this we are going for doubly reinforced beam this is the reason why we have to go for doubly reinforced beam thank you very much thank you for watching this video